Hey everybody, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate. Hey, I'm Butch Lehman, and today we're in for another episode of Rolling Reactions. Today's episode features a skater out of the Panhandle State. We're talking about Florida, and his name is Joey Chase. Now, Joey Chase has been crushing it on inline skates for as long as I can remember, and today I wanted to take it back to some of his earlier parts, some of the ones that he hits really hard, really fast, really aggressively, and that's just sort of a synopsis of his skating. So anyway, guys, I invite you to join me for a sampling of some Joey Chase parts. Let's take a look. All right, so this first section comes from a video called Wake Up, and it's kind of a wake up call to anybody that hasn't been watching Joey Chase, because in this section, you're gonna see a combination of things. You're gonna see a lot of technical tricks, some really massive stunts, as well as some unique spot selections and variety of, of obstacles. And that's one of the things that I love in skate videos when it has that trifecta of interest. At least that's what I look to. And uh, this is probably my favorite Joey Chase section because of that diversity of spots and tricks. And his skating is really fast, it's really aggressive, uh, very gritty. He has this grunge aesthetic, which you probably will notice through the clothing, through the music, through the trick selection and how he approaches everything. He's not afraid to take a tumble and to fall and to get back up, run up the stairs, and lace a hammer. So already we're like grinding over the uh, drop there, 360 in. Almost looks like there's a little Luke Hang in that Ford 360. This is a really popular spot here, the Arizona Ledges. And I've never seen anybody skated in this way using the up ramp as a launch ramp. So pretty unconventional. I love this clip. You've got the woman crossing in the foreground and she can't take her eyes off the trick, even catching a little look back and a smile. And that's the kind of skating that I like to see when people are out in public, uh, showing what we do to the public and you know turning some heads in the process. Also, I got to shout out this spot. This spot was in several clips in this video. And what is this spot? This is like something out of a dream a fever dream massive round rail gate to drop in a really steep bank just a very unusual spot selection and i don't think he could have caught himself any better on that like that was best case scenario for falling off this massive electrical box pretty nutty trick now, i've been watching joey chase for a really long time in fact i was looking up some of his earlier sections to see what was all out there and there was one that I remember watching that basically predates YouTube. I think the version that was on YouTube was marked as being 17 years old. Pretty wild to think about. Once again, you've got the public watching, you've got people up top with their cell phones out, people having lunch down there, turning heads. That's what Joey Chase does. He's, he turns heads for sure. Massive 540 over this gap. Again, out in public, skating in public. I love it. That's something we need to normalize. This is the speed that I'm talking about and the uh, zero fear, zero uh, mentality. Going in with the top acid, 540 the gap. Big drop rail here. Now it's kind of interesting because I always remember Joey Chase as being like the back torque and, and front torque, just the torque guru. And I don't know if he does any in this section, I don't recall, but a uh, lot more variety here. I also remember him having some of the best, like, Unity and Savannah tricks. And here you're getting a switch up out of it into top miss trial on that one. And this is on a drop rail, so some pretty tough tricks to be doing with a drop. Oh, I forgot about this, the three-piece ledge. And just killing it here, the top acid, the back farb, the true top acid, drop down on the ledge. Really unique trick, really unique setup for it, too. I don't know if I've ever seen a ledge setup quite like that. And that's always scary. If you're going to do those big gaps, got to be careful. Probably best to wear a helmet in a situation like that. Uh, just in general, it's a good idea. Lacing the gap. Didn't even touch the hand down. Very big gap. That's one of the things that Joey Chase has been known for, is he is a gap machine. In fact, that earlier edit that I was talking about had probably the biggest rail to drop that I've ever seen. Like, this one's pretty big, but the uh, one I'm thinking of, I think he was doing... Uh, top porn or maybe it was just a porn star but it was a drop of about 20 feet he didn't land it but wow props for trying that and this is a really cool clip there it's grinding through the water the sunset in the background very aesthetic very uh, artistic framing of the camera angle on that one nice 360 Luke Kang in the drainage ditch big wall ride 180 
Good use of plywood there too. Like it's always good to have some plywood with you when you're traveling around to different street spots. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. Like the Fakie 5, pretty stylish on that one. Joey certainly does like his kink rails. I've seen him in a number of videos do like uh, front torque, then jump over the kink to front torque. Pretty crazy, I don't really know how that's possible. Front torques are not one of my safety tricks, that's for sure. Tuck and roll. Going full kind grind on that one. In spin topsail, jump the kink. Man, he caught the little edge down at the bottom. That did not look pleasant. But like I said, gets back up, runs up to the top to do it again. Taking that speed out. What I love about that trick is uh, the 270 out. It was a rewind. And considering how short that rail is, it'd be really quick to like undo the spin and then come back the other direction. It takes a lot of control. I guess I never realized how much of a master of like these out drop rails Joey is. Because every part that I can think of, there's at least one that comes to mind. Excellent section. All right, our next video part takes us to about the same time period. This is roughly 2010, I believe, when this was made. And this is uh, the Vicious Team video titled Sleaze. And uh, again, a lot of very fast and furious skating. Running into a pole or a tree or a stick, I'm not really sure what that was at the end of that. But uh, to do a big drop kink rail and then have to jump a stair set coming off of it is a very, very challenging obstacle and one that I wouldn't want any business with. But uh, it's just another day in the life for Joey. Hopping over the rail, kind of uh, illusioned on that one, like faked everybody out, made him think you were going for the rail, but then actually took it to the ledge. And that was a really fast unity coming out of that topsail. Look at that, 450 backside far to 270 out. Really quick footwork on that. Back fast slide. That's a trick I never really understood. I know there's some people that are really, really comfortable and confident with it. Not me. Fast slides are witchcraft. They take some sort of special magic that I just know not. Going over. Ooh, I didn't see that one coming, the drop down to the curb. And uh, those painted curbs usually slide pretty well. And uh, even taking it into the parking ramp, he just added a gap in there. That rail looks really tall. Holy cow. Up and over the dirt to the sidewalk. I don't know what's going on with this. If this is just like at somebody's house or an apartment building or something. That rail looked like it was made out of wood, like painted wood. I have no idea how well that would slide or why anybody would stop there and be like, hey, this is a spot that I need to clip up on. But again, Joey's mind works in a slightly different way. He's always looking for that next big trick and uh, certainly does it well. Love the cross grab back, uh, back torque on that one. Again, that's the trick that I generally associate with him is back torque. Off the roof to kind grind down a drop rail. Ooh, and the 360 acid. Taking a lot of speed, look at that. Torque to hop to torque, unbelievable balance. This is a balance bar too with a couple of uh, jumps in it. I think that was the third one, going four, we get five. And notice how when he does the 450 out, it's all the way to flat over the grass gap. Pretty impressive. Drop down to top sole, to alley-oop sole, Cat, half cab out, flawless, love it. There's that big Arizona ledge again. Not a lot of people have done this ledge, and there have been some legendary tricks that have been done there. This one is up there, the back torque down the Arizona ledge. Pulling a lot of speed. He rolls through the water on his way to that gap. That's something that I couldn't even imagine doing, like worrying about slipping out in the water or how that would affect your speed or the launch. Adds a whole different element, element of difficulty that most people wouldn't even be able to comprehend. Quick little front far. Got to keep the speed to hit the 180. His friend was excited for that one. Another out rail. Massive 540 drop on that. Flawlessly done. Good style, good steez, good speed. What you get with Joey Chase? 
Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode featuring Joey Chase. And when I think of that hard rock aesthetic, Joey is one of the first characters that comes to my mind, whether it's the clothing styles, the music selections, or just the ability to fall down, run back up the stairs before lacing another hammer. He does it really well, and he always keeps skating fun, refreshing, and entertaining to watch. Also, a shout out to Joey for his longevity in the sport. He has been absolutely crushing it for such a long time, and I love seeing that. That's something that I wish to all the skaters out there is that type of longevity. Anyway, guys, I'm Butch Lehman of Roll Minnesota, reminding you to stay safe, stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. Until next time, everybody, peace.